Hey, Salem, Illinois, my young people, how are you? This is your friend Jeff Yaldin. Your principal reached out to me and asked me if I would send some words, and I don't know, I wish my words mattered. I wish, as I can say what's on my heart, that you can hear what's on my heart. Well, anyway, hey, listen, I think about you guys often. I hope you're doing great. I hope you enjoy the next couple of words. Who is the hardest person to get to know? Ourselves, right? And when we're young, we spend a lot of time trying to figure ourselves out. It's kind of like self-discovery. But the reality is you're going to go through many years in your life trying to figure out who you are. When right now you can make a choice to create the person that you want to be. I recently met a young lady that told me the story. She was living in New York City. She didn't find any purpose in living her life. And she kind of felt that every single day life just goes on and people come and people go and people get so caught up in their own lives. And that people don't take time anymore to reach out with kind words or kind gestures. She told me that she made a decision one day. And that decision was that if she were to walk through New York City that day, 11 million people. And if she felt that not one person paid attention to her, a small gesture, a hi, hello, a wave, just a nod, she had already made the decision that if she felt that she wasn't acknowledged by just one person, and she made the decision that she was going to end her life. She met someone that she felt acknowledged her. And it was at that moment she felt that she mattered. You ever look in the mirror, and as that reflection looks back, that reflection isn't very favorable, very kind, very nice. And sometimes when we're all alone, we look in the mirror, we don't like ourselves. Maybe we don't like our hair, we don't like the way we look, we don't like certain features. Let's say tonight, it's 10.30 at night, you get ready for bed. And you go to the bathroom and you shut the door behind you. And you're brushing your teeth and it's just you in the mirror. And as you look in the mirror and that reflection looks back, my question to you is simply this. Do you see a person as beautiful on the inside as the whole world looks at you and they see you on the outside? Let me rephrase that question. You're all alone in the bathroom and it's just you in the mirror. And as you look in that mirror and that reflection looks back, do you see a person as beautiful on the inside as when the world looks at you, they see you on the outside? It's a pretty deep question. As I ask that question, do you know that most of the time I get no or I don't know? You see, a lot of our peers and people are just like you and I. We live with self-doubt. When we look in the mirror, we wish there were things that we can change. We live every day just to be accepted and loved and cared about and thought about. We want to know that we contribute to society, that we matter. And what saddens me is when many of our young people look in the mirror, they don't value themselves. You see, part of the problem is we spend too much time looking at how we look. We don't spend enough time looking at who we are. And so I want to challenge you. When you look in the mirror at who you are, how you look will take care of itself. Why is there so much drama in the world? Why do we judge people 
yet when you look in the mirror, you live with self-doubt in yourself. Why do we judge people based on the 5% that we think we know about them? Somebody once said to me, believe half of what you hear and all of what you see. I want to challenge you to live your life being positive and upbeat and inspiring other people. When you create that person, that's the type of person that you want to live by every day. I want to challenge you to every day wake up and be a person that forgives. Maybe forgive people as quick as we judge. I want to invite you to release the drama in your life. How do you do it? You just do it. You don't participate in it. You don't allow your friends to be talking negative about somebody. It's all about just being kind and respectful. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to think about it now because you know what, when you're 30, 35, 40, and you really start to understand the wisdom and experiences of life, things really start to change. It becomes less about you and more about everybody. I want to challenge you to just think about this. Lose your ego and open your heart. You're going to end up doing it later in the future, but what if you thought about starting it now? Lose your ego and open your heart. Make your life bigger than you. Don't get caught up in this petty stuff. Somebody may have said something. Somebody may have done something. So what? The more energy you give to what someone may have said or someone may have done is less energy that you have in going out and being the best person that you're capable of being. Be the type of person that everybody wants to be. You set that example. You go out and live that person. I want to ask you three questions. These are three questions I ask every day. Is my life meaningful? Is my life fulfilling? And is my life rewarding? Think about that. Is your life meaningful? How meaningful can your life be when you're building yourself up by tearing someone else down? How meaningful can your life be when you're saying something so negative about somebody on social media? Is there meaning to my life? Do I make the world a better place? Is there meaning to my very existence? Is my life fulfilling? Is my heart full? And we'll have a purpose that is bigger than you. And I think when you have a purpose that is bigger than you, you're going to want to go out and inspire other people to be great. Is my life rewarding? Am I rewarded for the good that I put out in the world? You're not a hateful person. No. And why sometimes do we do hateful things? You're not mean. But why sometimes are we mean? You're strong then why sometimes do we give people the power over our emotions? We do, don't we? What does it do if I tell you how beautiful you are, but you don't believe it? What's the point then? Very few of us put our dream down on paper. I've come to learn that dreams don't work, but you know what does work? Plans. I want to challenge you to put your dream on paper and turn it into a plan. And I want you to look at that piece of paper every single day. 
When you go to bed at night, you spend a few minutes looking at your plan. When you wake up in the morning, you spend a few minutes looking and reviewing your plan. And spend some time meditating and just being silent and thinking about the day that's ahead of you. And part of your plan is to be a loving and kind, inspiring person. I love what Gandhi said, if you want to see change in the world, then be the change.